Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I want to show how to create motion design animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after the finished video, I will share all project files for download. First of all, let's create new background. Right mouse, new and solid layer. Add name background, click OK. Go to effects preset. Search effect fill. Select this fill, let's use for this solid layer. And go to color cube. Change fill color, red color like this. This is color code for use and click OK. Then lock layer and go to shape layers. Let's create rectangle tool and make like this. Click station tool and change name one. Okay, and in this time, let's go to here, enable title action save, and select this object, move to center, and move to down. Okay, in this time, let's press P, make new passing keyframe, and go to 10 keyframe. For a shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in the keyboard, or click here, right here, plus 10, click OK, and let's move to up. Go to 10 keyframe again, move to down, go to again 10 keyframe, move to up, again go to 10 keyframe, move to down, and again move to up. Okay, so there's more keyframes for smooth and bones animation. Select all keyframes, make easy or F9. Let's see. Okay, so select all keyframes and right mouse, keyframe interpolation. Change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. OK, that's good. So, and let's hold Shift press S. Go to here. First second. And click this icon. Make scale keyframe. And change scale like this. And like this. OK, let's see. Go to here. Change scale 100. And this 100. And select keyframes make easy. Let's see. Okay, so let's select this keyframe and move to up. And go to here. Select this keyframe. Also move to up. Okay. And select this keyframe. Move to down. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's go to shape layers, hold this icon and select this ellipse tool and hold shift, make one ellipse. Click station tool and change name to and let's move to down. Okay. And move to right this layer. Let's press P. Move to down. Make new passing keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe again. Let's move to up. Go to again 10 keyframe. Move to down. Let's zoom to layer. Move to down. Okay. And let's change stroke width 0. Also select this layer 1. Change stroke width 0. Okay. Select last keyframe. And let's move to down. And in this time, go to 3 keyframe. 1 to 3. Let's move to up like this and go to 3 keyframe again 1 to 3 move to down okay select all keyframes make easy let's see okay so in this time select these two keyframes go to graph editor and let's select this graph make like this let's see Okay, and select this graph. Let's move right. So back to shape frames, and in this time, let's hold Shift press S, make scale shape frame, and go to here, change scale zero. Let's see. Okay, select this scale shape frames. Let's move right. Let's select first shape frame, move to left, and make shape frames easy. 
Okay, that's good. So, select this circle and let's move to left. Okay, that's good. And go to last keyframe, select this layer 2. Let's link to layer 1. And in this time, go to here. Let's select this layer 1, make new patch in keyframe. And go to here. Let's move it down. Go to here. Move it up. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Let's see again. Okay, let's select three frames and hold Alt, move to right, and move to right like this. Okay. So, select the three frames, hold Alt, move to right for slow animation. Let's see. Okay, so select three frames, all passing three frames for circle and right mouse. Go to keyframe interpolation, change auto bezier to linear, click OK, let's see. Okay, that's good. So, go to here and click this icon. And let's go to here, let's try to change this scale like this, okay. And move to the left here, let's see. Nice, and let's change zero. Go to here, change 75, and in this time change 100. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And let's go to here. Let's select this layer 1 and move to up. Okay. Let's select last shape frame, move to down. Okay, not bad. So in this time, let's select this layer one, hold shift press air, and go to fifth shape frames, make rotation shape frame, and go to 10 shape frame. Let's change rotation like this. Okay, let's try change 195. And go to 10 keyframe, chain rotation like this. Okay, and go to 10 keyframe again, chain rotation like this. Again, go 10 keyframe, chain like this. And again, change 180. Okay, let's see. Select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, not bad. And select this first keyframe, move to the left, and select these last five keyframes, move to right, and select all keyframes again. Go to graph editor, and let's select this graph. Let's try make like this, and select work area. Let's see. Okay, let's control Z, and select this. Let's try this version. Okay, that's good. So, let's back to shape frames and select this circle, layer 2, and let's make new passing shape frame. Go to second shape frame and let's try move to left, let's see. And go to here, let's move to right and go to next shape frame, move to left, go to here. Move to right and finally go to last shape frame. Move to center. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So select these key frames for layer 2. Go to graph editor and let's zoom to graph. Let's see. Okay. Let's select this graph. Make smooth like a disk cube. Okay, not bad. Let's back to shape frame and let's change speed. Let's select this shape frame. Let's move to left and this 
move to right for slow animation and go to this shape frame let's try again move to left let's see okay that's good so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck